Hello viewers, welcome back. I have been scouting around looking for an easy way to help students, engineers and technicians learn PLC programming more effectively. And guess what? I have just found a 3D simulation software called Factory IO. I'm just blown away with the quality and simplicity this software offers. In this video, you are going to be familiar with some of the features that this software offers and then in the next lessons i'm going to walk you step by step through how you can configure and set up factory io from scratch and then connect that with open plc to be able to simulate your plc program in a beautiful design 3d environment let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so to get started with Factory IO, you need to download the software. So to do that, you go to your favorite browser. In the browser address, type factoryio.com. It brings you to the home page of the Factory IO. You have the trial and then you have other videos that you can look at we'll click on the trial to download okay you can key in your credentials quickly and then tick i'm not a robot Okay, so you click and save the file and then you wait a bit for the download. Okay, great. So after the download, you can go to your download folder and then look at the download file. I have it here. So to install, you right click on it and then you run as administrator. The installation procedure is pretty simple. Right, so you have this window open. You can select your language. For now, I'll leave it at English and then I click on OK. You click on Next. You can accept the terms and condition and then you click on next and then you need to show the installation path so i will leave it as default and then click on next yes opc dependence and then i click on next and then you need to be a little bit patient it will take some time to install So installation is done you click on finish and then you should have the icon on your desktop okay so we have the factory io icon right here to open the factory io you need to double click the shortcut okay so this is how the interface looks like we have the documentation and tutorials okay so to create a new project you click on new this is the environment where you can do your 3d design of your factory items to place an object you come to this object site and then you can scroll through to have a fair idea what objects you can place on so to place a conveyor you simply drag and then drop okay so basically this is how you can place conveyors you can place other items let's see i want to place a box or a palette i can drag and drop the palette as well 
and we can zoom in and then zoom out as well perfect now to get a clear understanding how it looks like i'll go back to the home page and then we will take a predefined scene so i'll click on scenes okay so we can see various scenes here we can scroll through and pick one for the examples so we have the sorting station so i'll click on it and then we can see the sorting station in 3d form we can see this is the panel we have the start stop and then the reading on the panel great basically if we want to run this device we need to write a plc program but factory io is having a lovely feature where we can force the system to run without even having any plc program so to do the force we need to select the devices we can see that the devices are having various tags and the tags are due to the fact that is selected here so sensor tag if i turn it off and then turn the machine tags off we can see all the tags are gone if i want to turn the tags back on you can see the tags okay great so to start it i can just click on play and then we can see an object is placed here if i want to run this conveyor which is this exit conveyor i just double click on it and then it gives me this form where i can force it so no force if i click on this and we can see that it is false and then we can see the conveyor running if i click on this conveyor i have to look for the tag name this is the tag name for this conveyor i right click i click on it and then i can also force it as well and then we can see the objects moving great so basically this is how factory io look like in the next tutorial we will write a simple program with open plc and then connect open plc to factory io so that we can test our program in this lovely 3d environment see you in the next tutorial bye bye